Hello friends. Oh, it's one of those days. I can't focus today. I was like, I got to get out of the house. I need to go do something. I feel like I have a hundred tabs open in my brain and they're all like spinning, trying to load at one time. And I just, I can't focus. I mean, do you guys ever feel that way? Like I can't list today. It's just not going to happen. Um, you know, I took all the photos and was prepared to list today and I just can't. I have so much stuff in my head and I don't, I don't know. I couldn't focus. So I'm like, okay, I need to find something to do that's better worth my time. And so I thought, oh, Deseret Industries, it's like not too far from my house. Let's go over there, just get out of the house for a little bit, see if they have anything. They usually have some pretty good vintage dresses here so I'm gonna check for that and I have found some really good stuff here one of my biggest flips ever I found here um, so I'm gonna go in check it out I don't want to spend like a ton of money I don't really need inventory at the moment I just needed to get out of the house and kind of clear my mind a little bit so here we are Deseret Industries let's see what we can find let's go shopping Welcome back to our channel. How's everybody doing? Outside section here in this store. Oh, look how frizzy my hair is. So I decided to go out there first because it's pretty cold today. And so um, I thought if I go outside and I get cold, <laughs> I could do that first and then come back into the store where it's nice and warm and then shop around and be nice and warm. That was my thought. I don't know. But there's nothing out there today. This couch. This couch. It's sold though. $150 it's sold for. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy. Holy shit. Um, this sourcing trip was freaking amazing. I, well, I didn't plan on even coming out in the first place, but, um, I'm so glad that you did. You are not gonna freaking believe what I got today. I can't believe it. I still feel like I robbed the store. I mean, I, I, I have no words. I have no words. Um, I got a total of 27 items. I spent $108 even. So that's like an average of four bucks an item. Um, let me show you. $108, $108. And then I wrote it at the top because I had to count it like the way they did it all, I like that. So 27 items, about four bucks average per item. Let me tell you just a couple of the things I got. I got two coach bags. They are authentic. I checked. I checked, but I've sold coach bags in the past and you can tell, like, I know when I touch it, um, if it's authentic or not. These are authentic. They're the mini, they're the small, um, I forget what they're called, but they're just the small bags, but I got two, a white and a black. I got, oh, I got a Gucci a Gucci like makeup bag. Oh my God, let me, I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you right now. Oh look, that happened to be the right one I got. Look, 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 look. So it's not like um, in perfect condition. It doesn't have uh, a strap or maybe it's not a makeup bag. It doesn't have a strap, but you can see this right here in the leather. The leather is buttery. And it's got, this is authentic. It's authentic. You can tell the quality in the zipper. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a little bit dirty on the inside. A little bit but I can clean that I can clean that up but it's got leather on the inside too oh <gasps> look at that look three freaking dollars 
Okay, here is the coach. This one is a little bit dirty, but this one is white. I've sold this exact black bag in black. Um, you can see the leather on the inside is nice and buttery. It is clean. There's the Creed. It still has the little coach taggy thingy. Holy cow. Look at this. Three dollars. Sorry for the sun right there. And I got the black. This one's a little bit smaller than that one. This one does have a little bit of a couple spots on it, but I think with some leather cleaner, I should be able to clean her up. Again, the soft buttery leather. The um, the zipper on the inside. It's there's the there's the creed there, and it also had it did have the tag. There it is, the little coach taggy thingy. Two, two dollars, two dollars. I sold this one. I think I sold it for one forty nine. I think um, in black. I got this little guy, it was a dollar. I'm gonna use it for like a giveaway on one of my um, auctions. This one, if you guys don't know about these, pay attention. These right here, um, this one doesn't have a tag on it. Does it. I thought it did, here it is. Little Darlings, um, it is dated 1994. I'm sorry for the light. I wish I could show it better. Let's see if I move my camera. There we go. Little Darlings. That's the tag. It's a little bit faded. And then she's got this poor thing on her face. But she was $2. These can go anywhere from like 75 bucks, 60 bucks, somewhere in there. They have like these little terry cloth dresses and they are plushy with an embroidered face. Okay, I mean, <laughs> just right there alone was worth my trip, right? Wait till we get home and I show you all the clothing that I got. A lot of it is vintage. There's a couple pieces that are not, but I, I literally feel like I robbed the store today. I feel like I robbed the store. This is my happy dance. <laughs> this is my happy dance. My dog's like, what are you doing? Hey guys, this is Sancho. He is a five month old wiener dog. He's a dachshund. A dachshund. Dachshund, is that how you say it? Dachshund. <laughs> um, he's got his own TikTok, check it out. <laughs> All right. I'm really excited today. I'm so glad I went thrifting. This was um, a really great, a really great haul. A really great haul. So you guys already saw what was in this bag, but I'll just kind of go through it quickly. So it was the Gucci, the Gucci bag. I don't know. I might see if I can find like a replacement strap for it, or I might just sell it as is. I'm not sure. Do a little bit of research. Um, okay, Sancho's going to check everything for me. The black coach, the white coach, we had the little darlings, yeah, little darlings baby doll, and then I got this, this little guy, okay. So that was just a quick little recap. So keep in mind, I only spent what's it, $108 all total. I'll show you these shoes. Look at those. Those are pretty cool. You like those, Sancho? These are Air Force Ones. Um, 
Nike Air Force One. Where's the size? Oh, it's a different tag. The size is a 5Y, so they are kid size 5. But those are pretty cool. I've never seen these before. I also got some wrestling shoes, Nike wrestling shoes. These were eight bucks. That's pretty cool. These Nikes were also eight dollars. These wrestling shoes are a size 11. I'm just gonna sniff those too. <laughs> And then these, these might stay in my closet. I don't know what size they are. Um, so I paid $6 for those. And these are Doc Martens. They do have a little bit of, this one's fine, but they do have a scuff on this toe. But the boot looks pretty nice. Um, the bottoms aren't that worn. This is a size... Oh, they're size eight. No, these won't fit me. They're too big. Too big, but I like those. Nice color. So that's all I got in the shoes. And now for the clothing, I got some good stuff. Good stuff. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. Okay, there we go. I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in this room. It's weird. All right. Um, I got this vintage... What is it? Um, blue Cactus, made in USA. It was $4. There's no discounts at this store. $4. It is just a long denim maxi dress. These do really well for me. Easy... $30, $40. Um, this is Comfort Choice. This one was $3. And I'll sell this probably for $40 or, 40 or so also. It is like a big Moo Moo style house dress. Pretty floral blue. It does have pockets. This is Anne and Rose, $4. I love this one. It's like a caftan, moo moo, um, elephant print. It's purple. And this one has the, the tie here in the waist. So for smaller girls, we can cinch it there in the center. But yeah, that's a real pretty. Oh, thank you. You're licking me. This one um, is World Market, and it is $4. I just love this dress. I didn't care what the brand was because I thought I might keep it for myself. But it's embroidered here, and it ties at the waist, and has like an elastic waist, and it is just a long maxi. Um, but I think it's so pretty. It's really pretty. This one is a vintage Bill Glass. And this was $3. It is linen and cotton. So linen is always something good to pick up. It is a maxi. Uh, button down sleeveless maxi dress. It just goes straight down. This one, I didn't recognize the brand on this one either, but I just love this dress, so took a chance on it. It is Antica Centoria, I think. $4. But look how pretty this is. It's like, I thought it might be like an anthropology brand or something. It's 
like embroidered and beaded up here. It's got these pretty bell sleeves with like this crochet lace, an elastic waist. It's kind of like a mini, a mini dress, but it's got very anthropology, free people kind of vibes. This, um, I think this is handmade. Uh, there's no tags on it, but it's got a really cool print. I paid four dollars for it. It is a like a muumuu kaftan style maxi dress, and it just has that cool like Hawaiian print. These little like woody cars and surfboards, and just a fun print. And I love selling these. Moo's Moo style dresses. Next. Next, next, next. Go this way. And then this is the last bag. Because I didn't get a ton of stuff, but the stuff that I did get was pretty awesome. Or is pretty awesome. Um okay, so I'm really, really, really loving like vintage lingerie right now. Uh, this is Miss Elaine. I don't know. This might stay in my wardrobe because I love it. Uh, $3. It is that like slinky nylon um, nightgown. And this one is probably like knee length. Uh, and this really pretty light, light, light blue color. I love it. Uh, this, this is a vintage equation, uh, 100% rayon. This is probably 90s, $4. It's a sleeveless button down. It ties in the center or ties at the waist. It is a maxi dress. Perfect for summer. I sell these all day long, $40. It was a maxi dress kind of a day. Uh, this one is Kate Laundry Casuals. I don't really care the brand on this one. Um, I paid $3 for that, but <laughs> the brand on this one, look at the birds. It has birds all over it. Again, it's that Moo Moo style caftan. Um, it's got like some sequin, beading or something right here on the collar um it is a maxi length with pockets this is amazing for like a house dress a beach cover-up cruise wear uh you know like vacation tropical wear it's definitely a maxi day um woman within is the brand uh oh four dollars again this one here this is like that hawaiian rockfish print um does it have a rockfish on it kind of there's a fish so it's got buttons on the top kind of cinches in a little bit on the waist very cute hawaiian style maxi dress with pockets nice I'll probably that one feels like brand new it doesn't feel like it's been worn so I might put that one maybe for 50 I don't know I have to look up the brand so I'm not really too sure this one I don't I, I never know how to pronounce this correctly I'll show you the brand this is vintage probably 80s or 90s I'm not sure um, I did pay a little more for this. It was $6. But this is a silk dress, sleeveless, um, in sort of this like purpley blue color. Uh, it is a maxi length, but it has this slit that goes all the way up the front, like real short. Um, but it's silk and it's beautiful. And it has a zipper down the back. And it just looks like it is in immaculate condition. It is really, really pretty. Oh, 
Oh, I picked this up for Angel because I know he loves hard rock stuff. So this is a hard rock. Um, I paid $6 for it. So a little more than what I paid for a lot of this stuff. But I know he's going to love this shirt. So it's got this cool like Asian dragon graphic here with like the fender. Um, it buttons up and it's just like this weird like splatter paint kind of looking thing. <laughs> I don't know. Very Hawaiian style club shirts. Um, the back. Look at the back. So it's like these dragons wrapped around the guitar. It's the year of the dragon, in case you didn't know. So that, that's really cool. This is a cool shirt. I don't mind paying six bucks for that. Probably get 75 for it. This, I might keep this one. I don't know, we'll see. This is an heirloom collectibles. Oh, it's silk, so I probably can't keep it. Though it has silk in it, which I am allergic to silk. Um, $3. I can like touch it and stuff, but to wear it all day, like I would have hives. So I'm not, <laughs> I can't keep it. So it's an embroidered cardigan. Um, it has embroidery on the front and the back. It has these real pretty like pearl like buttons in like this pretty unique shape. Um, I just think this is really sweet. It's kind of grandma core. I just like it. It's pretty. This is a vintage chalk line um, Georgia Tech sweatshirt. So $4 I paid for it. You can see the tags kind of chewed up a little bit there, but it, it is one of the chalk line vintage tags. Um, it has some Henley buttons right here. And it says Georgia Tech. And it's just a sweatshirt, but cool nonetheless. This um, will also go to Angel. It is Cross Creek. Uh, made in USA. It's vintage for the year. I don't know. I'm guessing maybe 80s. $4 I paid. So here is the tag. It's a turtleneck, so it's a little tricky here. So that's the tag. And you can see I paid $4. The dogs are running back and forth. <laughs> and it is a turtleneck, but it has the Ferrari logo on it. It's a long sleeve red turtleneck. I thought that was interesting. This Angel's going to love this shirt. I wouldn't be surprised if he kept it. Um, so it is an older The Mountain. I only paid $2 for this one. But look at the graphic. These amazing wolves. Like this tie-dye. I love that. I really like this. I think he's going to like it too. But it is a size large. I could see him keeping that one. I got this. I paid $5 for this one. <laughs> hey, hey. It's blue, cable knit, um, pretty buttons. It's a cardigan. So it didn't have a tag here on the top, but like if you saw my last video, I said, check the bottom. See if there is a fabric tag, and there is in this one. And it says 95% wool, 5% cashmere, Ireland's Eye Knitwear. So this is a good pickup. So it is wool and cashmere. It still feels scratchy like wool, not soft like cashmere, but it's very pretty. And the last thing that I got, Oh, somebody's excited and gaming down there. This is a vintage Christian Dior. Um, $5. And it is a robe. So it's this maroon, red, 
sort of velvety soft um, it has like these black stripes that go through it with pockets it's not full length but it's not half so it's kind of like mid calf <laughs> I don't know I don't know this is nice though I've sold a few of these um, these Christian Dior ropes and I can get 75 or more for this one probably because this one is like in really nice condition and it's super soft that's it I got a lot of good stuff for a hundred dollars today I am very very excited I have to do some research and find out what some of this stuff is gonna sell for and I'll do another video showing some of my solds so if you guys like these videos of me showing you my haul um let me know by clicking the thumbs up hitting the subscribe button and i'll keep doing them for you <laughs> all right everybody have a great day i'm excited to go get listing this stuff and i will see you next time bye